Today I would like to talk about the recuperation and Volkswagen Yep whenever the car is fully charged. I don't know if you are aware or no, but uh, when this is true, the car doesn't do any regenerative braking or recuperation as it's called by uh, Volkswagen. So let me first show you what do I mean and then I will talk about the pros and cons about this functionality. Now, now I'll accelerate and then I will put level 1 recuperation, level 2 recuperation, level 3, level 4 and as you can see it is charging very slowly because it considers that the battery is full and uh, it doesn't require uh, any charge at all. Uh, that has some uh, pros and cons so let's talk about them now. As you saw, the car is limiting the amount of power that uh, we can insert into the battery. Uh, and in this sense, it increased the battery life because it doesn't allow you to overcharge the battery. So that is something good. Uh, the other good thing is that the car is forcing the driver to use the brakes. Because if you don't use the brakes, the disc of the brakes can rust and uh, you you know that in these electric vehicles in all electric vehicles uh, we're using mostly the regenerative braking to stop the car uh, and not using the brakes at all uh, the bad thing uh, in this limitation is that you may inspect uh, a big increase of the consumption the first 10 percent of the battery uh, because the full uh, recuperation power kicks in after you drain around 10% of the battery. Uh, so that's why I recommend to charge the battery uh, to 10%. If you haven't seen my video, you can check it here. Uh, and I think that's it from the pros and cons that uh, I think about this limitation of the car. Uh, if you know something more about the pros and cons, please share them in the comment section below the video. That's all for this video. I hope you like it. If you like it, Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.